Hi all, welcome to Tech Forum. In this video, let us see how to use LinkedIn Social Login for AEM websites. Social Login is the ability to present the option for a site visitor to sign in with their social accounts like Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn and etc. AEM supports out of the box Facebook and Twitter social logins but LinkedIn login is not supported out of the box and need to build some custom provider to support the login flow for websites. The Scribe Java module is used internally by AEM to support the social login flows. Scribe Java supports multiple providers around 30 plus providers and both WAT 1.0 and WAT 2.0 protocols. The Scribe version shipped with AEM won't support the link LinkedIn WAT 2.0 authentication flow but WAT 1.0 is supported means the uh, Scribe version uh, whatever shipped in AEM is not latest one so it won't support some of the uh, flows. Some customization required to support the LinkedIn social login in AEM as a cloud service. Um, the same can be used with minimal modification for other AEM uh, versions. Let's see now the uh, LinkedIn login flow. Uh, this diagram uh, represents the login flow. Now if you see here like it start um, uh, user invokes a AEM, AEM login URL first. That's the first step. We need to provide a login to a user. Uh, then uh, AEM re uh, redirects the user to a LinkedIn authorization page because the uh, um, uh, login is going to happen via uh, uh, LinkedIn. Now user like uh, then authorize the request like LinkedIn request for authorization if it is a first time um, then like user should authorize. Once the user is authorized then LinkedIn responds with a authorization code the user is authorized and he, is, uh, he can get the required data. Once, once AEM has the uh, access token um, like sorry, once the AEM has the authorization code, AEM can request for a access token with that uh, uh, authorization code. Now LinkedIn will respond with the access token. Now then like uh, once we once AEM has the access token, AEM can request for a uh, profile data, basic profile data with the access token what we, what AEM received. Now AEM uh, LinkedIn is going to send a response uh, with the profile data. Uh, it will have something first name, last name and some uh, what are the fields uh, we are uh, expecting from uh, LinkedIn. Mainly we are expecting first name and last name for our scenario. Now once AEM has the data, AEM can create in a, if it is a new user or update uh, in case of existing user and let the uh, user log into the AEM repository. Now finally user logged into the repository, he can um, perform the activities what is uh, what he has the uh, permission. This is the kind of some of the important URLs. Most of the URLs uh, are internally managed through the by the provider. Um, so, but anyway, it's good to know that one is the AM login URL. This is the URL uh, user should be uh, clicking to initiate the login. So, uh, J security check. This would be the syntax. Then you can change your your server. Maybe you can have some uh, like a, a parent path here, but it should be end with J uh, J uh, underscore security underscore check. Then config ID, this is like a LinkedIn, yeah, this is the config ID, ID of the uh, what provider, what we are going to define in the later uh, steps. Now LinkedIn authorization page URL, this is the URL user will be taken for uh, authorization. Now we here uh, some values like client ID, redirect URI, scope, um, response type, it should be always code. Now access token URL, so here again see access token, we need to specify the grant type, authorization code client ID, client secret, the code, code what we received as part of these steps, redirect URI. Then um, retrieve profile data, so this is the URL v2 slash me, then uh, we need to say projects and what values we are expecting, so uh, if you don't want to say that also fine, but uh, I'm just saying I need ID, uh, localized first name, localized last name. So you can take the first name and last name also, but that then you need to do some JSON parsing, so it will uh, the syntax is going to be a little different. So, but localized first name and localized last name will give a direct value. So that's what I am taking this, but you can change it. Then we need to pass the access token, but the variable name should be what to access token. Um, the access token what we received earlier. You can refer this um, scribe Java uh, modules here. So this is the uh, Maven repository. Uh, the latest version is 137. Uh, this is the GitHub repository. So you can uh, refer the uh, code if you want. The overall steps are going to be below. Uh, first, first step is like we need to set up a LinkedIn app. Then we need to set up the custom LinkedIn uh, OAuth provider. Then need to configure a service user. 
after that we need to enable uh, configure the OAuth application and provider enable the OAuth authentication then we should be able to test the login flow so then we, we are going to uh, discuss about the other two items like en encapsulated token support and sling distribution uh, user synchronization okay um, as a first off uh, now we should set up uh, the OAuth app uh, from LinkedIn uh, so for that what we can do is let us log into LinkedIn developer account developers okay sign in with your uh, ID so I'm going with the admin Uh, now here you can see uh, click on create app so enter your app name here am then yeah, so here you need to uh, uh, create a uh, new linkedin page it's a kind of a company uh, configuration or you can link to the existing one so in my case i'm uh, linking so you, it has some uh, some step uh, series of steps you to follow if you want to create a uh, new linkedin page so i ha already have it so i'm just uh, i will use that So now this is fine. Then you can add a logo. So this is okay. Okay, I will use the same logo. That's fine. Now just click on uh, agreement. That's okay. Create app. Okay, now the app is created. As a first up, you need to verify this. Uh, um, association company association for that click on verify so here if you see like it will generate a verification url once the verification url is there click on generate um, copy url now let me okay it says like uh, um, association aem to tech forum learnings so approve the verification yeah, done now if i come back here and then refresh the page it may take some time to uh, reflect okay it's verified that's fine now come down so yeah so here everything looking fine now go to art section now you can see a client ID and the client secret here then no permissions added now now we need to add the redirect URL so the redirect URL you can add it as this uh, localhost for 4503 um, sorry not this okay this one uh, localhost 4503 callback uh, again j underscore security underscore check just to copy that and uh, add that you can add multiple uh, redirect urls so i'm going with uh, only one right, right now so this is fine okay this is fine now let's go to the product section uh, tab then here you need to add a uh, um, available product so here sign in with linkedin this will enable the required permission to the app so just click select okay that's fine add add product so products but it will take some time so if you see here like we will say like a review in progress you need to wait for some maybe five minutes so until this uh, app getting approved yeah so now if you see here the required permissions are added uh, r underscore email address and r, r underscore like profile okay now uh, linkedin app is ready now um so just to copy this uh, uh, client id and the client secret client secret like before copying first to reveal this and copy it otherwise it won't work and keep it uh, somewhere so these values are required to enable OAuth authentication handler in AEM okay uh, now uh, uh, app setup is completed let us now set up the custom uh, LinkedIn OAuth provider so as mentioned earlier AEM won't support uh, LinkedIn authentication out of the box uh, provider should be defined uh, to support the authentication with LinkedIn so you can refer this specific link um, so here um, AEM communities link they have a sample uh, provider already uh, defined but this provider supports only OAuth 1.0 um, to, uh, to support OAuth 2.0 the provider should be modified and also some additional uh, overridden classes are required as the AEM shipped scribe package won't support OAuth 2.0 for LinkedIn provider LinkedIn already uh, deprecated OAuth 1.0 flow so we should use uh, 2.0 flow the LinkedIn provider to support the OAuth 2.0 can be downloaded from this location. So 
so this is a custom build i think is my repository um so you can download it download it from here so this will provide the war 2.0 support for uh, linkedin so you can just uh, check this some files here linkedin war 2 api so this is mainly to support the what uh, 2.0 uh, urls uh, api urls so you can just refer here now then provider imbl this is the main class um, so here like it will have all the detail to uh, handle the uh, linkedin uh, uh, you can just uh, go through this now after this like service imbl is a service class so mainly it will help you to get the access to here some modification required because default one won't support this grant type in aem so we need to add this grant type uh, because what 2.0 linkedin flow expect that so that's the reason we need to uh, override this okay another one is the uh, token extractor um, the uh, here this should be override because uh, the default regex expression was not fetching the access token so i changed it uh, some uh, something like this so it started uh, working so that's a reason of overriding this uh, class okay uh, the provider bundle is enabled with aem sdk api um, so jar for ams cloud service at the same bundle uh, can be used by changing aem sdk api to uber jar for other aem versions so what i am referring is if i go here if you go to the uh, palm.xml so if you come down there is a dependency added this is the only dependency aem uh, sdk api because i am i am building this for ams cloud so if you want to use this for other aem version just change this to uber jar and you should be uh, able to use that okay now let's let us clone this repository and deploy to um, aem so to clone it we will just execute this command Okay, I already cloned it, um, so I'm not doing it again. Now, what we need to do, we need to install. So here I am going to install to the local localhost 4503 uh, publisher. So you, if you want, you can change this uh, 4503 to different port, or even you can add am dot host to uh, like uh, deploy to even different uh, servers. Okay, let me go and deploy this. So I am in this folder, bundles, LinkedIn, uh, what provider. Okay, the deployment is completed now after the successful deployment uh, you should be able to see the linkedin provider uh, in config manager so let me go to the config manager just go to localhost okay now go to system console So you can see the LinkedIn provider configuration. So this is the one what dot uh, uh, provider ID. The what dot provider ID uh, can be changed, but the same value should be used while configuring the uh, what handler like Adobe Granite what application and provider. Okay, let's now um, configure the uh, service user. We need a service user. The service user should be enabled with the required permissions uh, to manage the users in the system. Uh, you can use one of the existing service user with the required access but i thought of uh, defining new service user the service user name should be uh, uh, same as this one let me show you that if i go here uh, then if i go to this linkedin then provider user what linkedin service but if you want to use the existing one uh, like feel free to uh, use that now let's create a uh, service user for that go to local host go to crx okay now copy this yeah first the login or first you should login with the admin user so it's already for my case is a login user id admin go to user administration create a system user just enter the user id that's okay click on this okay uh, now the uh, system user is uh, created now now we should enable the required permission for the user so let me go to user admin somehow i am still comfortable to use the classic ui uh, for this user management permission management 
So I'm going to uh, user admin. You can even do through uh, tool security. Now search with that particular user. Okay, user is created. Now click on this. Go to permission. So you need to give a permission to read the home folder. Read, write, create, and um, maybe yeah. delete is not required. But anyway, I will give that. Okay, now the permissions are uh, set. Uh, now we need to enable a uh, service user mapping for uh, the uh, bundle, the provided bundle. So let me add, you need to add an entry into the Apache Sling service user mapping service amendment. So uh, we, you can find the bundle ID from here. Uh, if you go, go here, okay. If you go to form.xml, you can see this is the bundle ID. So LinkedIn dot what dot provider. Then search for maybe amendment. Yeah. So this one Apache Sling service user mapper. Then click on plus. So then this is going to the syntax. This is the bundle name and the service name. Just add it there. Because yes, like a service name and username is same. So just we are adding this syntax. So click on save. Okay. Now we need to uh, uh, enable the OAuth uh, application provider. That's like uh, uh, OAuth. Here you can see something called uh, Adobe Granite OAuth application and provider. So open this. Here you need to provide some uh, values. The config ID keep it unique. So I am going to keep it as LinkedIn. So this is the one we are going to use it in the login URL. The config ID. Then you need to add a uh, client ID. So client ID and client secret. So that you can copy it from uh, this one. So I am copying the client ID. Okay. Now you need to add the scope. So I am going to add a scope of this two. This is space uh, like this. So just add both the scopes. Even email scope is not required because we are not taking any email, but I'm just adding it. Then this is important, the provider ID. The provider ID is coming from this specific uh, class. What are the provider? They are like a, I shown you like we you, even you can modify from there. So the default provi provider ID is uh, mentioned here. So if I go to provider IMPL, you can see here the provider ID is uh, LinkedIn. So you can change it, but you can change it through this uh, uh, other console, like provider ID I shown you, but I'm not, so keep it as LinkedIn, okay. Now click on um, uh, create user, the user should be uh, created. Now uh, after that, uh, callback URL you have to keep. The same value what you configured in the app. So this is the um, redirect URL value, we kept it in the uh, yeah, so the space in it ends here. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Now remaining are all fine. So you can just uh, save this. Okay. Now the this configuration is ready. Now next one is like by default Adobe Granite OAuth authentication handler is not enabled. Uh, the handler uh, can be enabled by opening and saving uh, without doing any modification. Just we need to open that configuration and save it so that it will get enabled. So for that again, uh, look for OAuth. So here you can see something called Adobe Granite OAuth authentication handler just to click on this so the path is fine you leave it just to save it so this will enable the uh, authentication okay now the configuration is ready now let us uh, uh, test it so uh, what we can do is like you can use this specific url um, so to uh, initiate the login um, so, uh, like, uh, config id here config id is important you should be using the same config id what you uh, configured there so in maybe like in real scenario what you can do is you can create a button login button and link to this url so that user can click on that and initiate the login but our says anyway just we are going to um, access this link so that it will uh, initiate the login so i'm just uh, clicking on this and uh, i will go to a private window i'm just entering this Uh, somehow it's not going to the uh, LinkedIn authorization page. Looks to be some problem. Let me look in. Yeah, like if you go if you go to this uh, console components, if you see like Adobe Granite what LinkedIn provide, it says uh, failed activation. Looks to be there is a problem. Let me stop it and start it. If that's going to help.
the component is up now um, the the issue was maybe let me go to config manager so looks to be the syntax was wrong so but it was working for me earlier so i changed to this what linkedin um, service equal to um, what uh, linkedin service so after this it started working maybe what we can do is like this service user creation step should be before even deploying the um, provider bundle so that it won't cause any problem now fine like uh, uh, it's done now let me go and again access the same url yeah, go here, access this yeah now it taken me to the uh, login url linkedin login url just enter the password sign in fine the first time we need to authorize the user should authorize so allow yeah so now the user is able to log in so here like you see sign out and also tech forum so that is my uh, uh, first name and last name also the user uh, user is created user meta created in the repository let us go and check it so let me go to so you can go to user admin but this will go yeah, maybe i thought of showing it in that view when you can search here uh, the users will start with the li for linkedin yeah li this one now yeah the first name last name uh, so we are not fetching any email then permission is only now added into this uh, everyone group if you want to change that logic also uh, later now if i go here if i go to home um, users linkedin all the users will create will be created under linkedin folder so go to this this is the user basic detail then profile yeah you can see the uh, family name given name and uh, id also like whenever you change the profile data uh, in uh, linkedin so same will be uh, reflected in aem on the uh, subsequent uh, let us now see uh, on the encapsulated token support the default authentication token is uh, persisted in the repository under users profile like if you go to the uh, user profile here so you can see yeah there is a uh, node called tokens so how many times you are logging in so that tokens will be uh, stored under this so that means the authentication mechanism is stateful so every node will have this uh, uh, token uh, so it becomes uh, stateful token is the way uh, like uh, the encapsulated token is the way to configure stateless authentication it ensures that the cookie can be validated without having to access the repository it means so whenever there is a, there, the authentication flow is happening so no need to uh, access the repository to validate the token but this this required still the user uh, should be available in all the publishers uh, for form configuration let's say you have uh, like multiple publisher like configured together so in that scenario even though like user might be getting created in one publisher the user should should available in all other publisher for the seamless uh, um, authentication means like let's say first time user go to p1 then second time he comes and go to p2 so uh, the b is not be again asking him to uh, like uh, authorize and all those flows just he will we should be able to uh, seamlessly uh, authenticate let us see like how to uh, enable that i will go here now search for token authentication handler just to go here now enable this just save so what i will do is now i will go to Maybe this another tab. So I will just enable right login. So I will select Okay. Okay. Now logged in. Now if I go back here, if you see the tokens are not created. So it means it's using the encapsulated uh, token option. Okay, another one scenario is like a user sync, um, like uh, uh, as I said earlier. So you have a multiple publishers, and uh, uh, you should keep the users in sync um, so that user will experience the seamless uh, authentication. The user um, created in a publisher should sync to all the other publisher in the form to support the seamless authentication. I'm not finding good reference document to explain the user sync in AEMS cloud. Cloud. 
as like uh, the community features are not enabled in AMS Cloud service earlier through that community feature uh, the use of sync was enabled but even we can use the direct sync distribution but need little more configuration planning to uh, cover the user sync in another tutorial okay now the linkedin login uh, uh, capability is enabled for am website i will add all the reference detail to the uh, video description thanks all for watching the video see you in the next video